This is Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com live from Sakusur Hall in Tallinn for STLAL 2019 Grand Final. And I have here next to me, there will no, no strange people to you guys and the Eurovision fans, uh, Birgit. Tanya Mihailova, hi. Birgit. Hi, hi. Um, how are you feeling? Good, actually, good. Yeah. Nice to see you. Welcome to Estonia. Yeah. Thank you so <laughs> much. Yeah, it's welcome. a pleasure to be to be here with you in, in this magnificent event. Yeah, thank um, you. How do you feel performing your song High Hills in the Neighborhood? It's the first rehearsal, at least for us, of the press today. Mm -hmm. How did it go? Very well. It's really fun and uh, enjoyable act. So it's we can say that, oh my God, I'm so tired or something. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's been well. well. Yeah, the thing is, so um, this year we do what we normally do with the bands, so like every week and every year for ten years already. Mm -hmm. We perform with the same band and with each other in the same mm -hmm. band. So uh, it's it's uh, it's not specially um, made band for the Eurovision. It's it's what we are. It's what we do. We do a lot of fun things. So we put energy out there. So our guys, it's not like uh, just some guys that are on stage with us. They're very important parts of our performance as well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're just uh, enjoying uh, ourselves on stage. And it's a fun song. It's all about uh, having fun and, uh, and just uh, have a good time. <laughs> Actually, I was going to ask you how did it, how did the idea to, I was going to ask you how the act came up for but actually you have just told me yep. but how did the idea to enter Estee Laul came up to like because if you win this you're going to the Eurovision again so how the idea to send a song to Estee Laul mm -hmm. came to your mind well the guys wanted yeah, to participate I think, yeah the guys yeah, yeah. Wanted. so they were talking to us like for a couple of years already and mm -hmm. Birgit was ready last year yeah but I wasn't ready I was like no 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 it's it's kind of hard I know was <laughs> I've been there it's quite hard and it's it's not time not the right time but this year I was like Okay, let's do it. And yeah. uh, and we thought that maybe it's for us. It's like five years. So you perform in Eurovision. So you have five years off, and then you you can perform one more, more yeah. time. Yeah, and yes, maybe it's a little it's bit a like commercial, or we just we, we, we do the promotion for, for our, our band, band as well for and Estonia. Uh, yeah, it's I a good it's uh, good uh, place to to perform in. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the guys were like, uh, what? Why aren't we going together? Because it's it's all it's not ridiculous. But we normally perform together, but yeah. we uh, do uh, other things separated. So it was like, uh, okay, let's do it. Uh, some fun song just doing what we do. Yeah. And just and actually, we have male singers uh, as well, but. Uh, only six only people, six people <laughs> can be in the stage. Yeah. So, uh, so do you like this role in Eurovision? Because it's something that a lot of people have been complaining about. Like all these six people on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. hard when you want to do some uh, great number with dancers, for example, and you have to have back vocals as well. So you have to uh, search for people who can dance and sing at the same time. And in Estonia, search is very quick. <laughs> yes, uh, and uh, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, but we understand. But we understand. There have there have to be some rules and uh, yeah. maybe it's too expensive when every every year <laughs> all the countries sent there i don't yeah. know 50 but maybe, people but maybe eight a little people, bit ten, eight, 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 eight or ten yeah let's do eight for for a beginning <laughs> in sweden let's they say. do eight yeah, but in their national selection. Ah, okay. yeah. Yes, yes, but uh, yeah, and they allowed to have backing vocals as yeah. well, mm -hmm. uh, separated from the people yeah. on stage. Yeah, on stage. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So you actually participated in Eurovision one after the other, mm -hmm. yes. like it is um, coincidence <laughs> actually. <laughs> yes. But you run. Um, unfortunately, it didn't go that well for yeah. you, Tanya. Yeah. More or less for you, you you went to the final, but didn't go that well. Mm -hmm. Why do you think this song has to be the one to step into the Eurovision stage again and run the best luck for Estonia this year? What is the strength <laughs> of it? Uh, I know it's I not know. meant to be for Eurovision. Yes, but yeah, yes. it's not meant to be for Eurovision, but uh, it's really good song and the, the, all the energy. I think uh, it's good to watch that and it's good to see that. It's um, something positive for all the people of the world so yeah so uh, nothing uh, kind of arty this time <laughs> maybe <laughs> nothing hard uh, involving a lot of dancing and, and so on um, <laughs> just uh, pure energy and pure fun and maybe uh, you know sometimes um, uh, songs that are not meant for Eurovision like mm -hmm. uh, like some of the songs that uh, even won the Eurovision uh, in the last years mm -hmm. yeah. uh, they were not meant to be Especially, they were not made, made specially yeah. for your revision. This so song that we, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. is the something that he normally does, and this is something we normally do. So it, this is us. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. um, have you checked how the Eurovision? I mean, uh, have you been following the Eurovision after your participation in the days? Uh, how do you see the con how do you see the contest nowadays? How is it developed? I think it's more about music. Uh, I think this. Well, well, sometimes. But sometimes not. But I think a little bit more. Not only show, but all the music. Yes, for me, music it's is really uh, important. Uh, good music. Yeah, that's uh, the, just the songs, just the music. It, it's like making comebacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes it, it is for me like competition between a great show uh, using a lot of um, staging, um, a lot of money, of course, because it's everything is very expensive. So you can use uh, pyro pyrotechnics and mm -hmm. and uh, some I don't know some decorations on stage and so on dancers, and uh, it's the competition between this and just music yeah. so it's uh, every year it's uh, interesting to watch uh, what kind of uh, direction it goes and for me it's uh, a lot about um, uh, background as well because mm -hmm. you have to have story and uh, we do have story this is mm -hmm. what we do this is like yeah. us <laughs> for sure you will be feeling the, 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 the warmth of the Estonian public because they already know you, they don't know who you, who you are yeah. and you are of course, you're not only receiving comments from them but also from the international Eurovision fans but will be behind you <laughs> it's been like a couple of, not a, few, not a lot of years but a few years after your participation yeah. so how, is it something that you take when you go to perform on stage the, the, the feedback from the audience, the, the, does it help you to, to improve your performance? Yeah, At of course, it's like, it's like win-win situation. It's not only like, uh, I don't know. It, yeah, of course, I think for me, the most important thing is audience. The feeling that there is audience and you can form, be, perform for them. It's a really big thing. Yeah, and for me, uh, revision fans are quite something different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, the special uh, like people because uh, it's something different. The, the love and the gratitude and the and, uh, energy you receive from them. It's something I have never felt before, mm -hmm. before Eurovision. So this is actually very mm, warm and very uh, great feeling that you kind of miss when, you're, when you <laughs> go back. But of course people in Estonia as well are uh, very a good people and for me it was a very big sign when I didn't go through the finals in Eurovision but I still came home and they were like oh, you did yeah. so well and everybody yeah. was uh, they were behind me so they were not against me um, I thought that maybe some some of them will be kind of disappointment disappointed of course we were but not as uh, in negative way so uh, audience is uh, yeah it's a great uh, thing and of course for me it is well you have to perform that uh, you are happy about your performance so there's nothing you have done you could have done differently mm -hmm. or better so you just have to have fun and perform as uh, in the best way you can perform and uh, just enjoy your time yes. mm -hmm. uh, to, to put an end to this interview it was really nice talking to you girls okay. <laughs> can you, you send a message to the viewers on esuplus.com yeah. here in the camera hi <laughs> Hi, so uh, we are the swingers, yes, without uh, the swingers, of yes. course, uh, Birgit and Tanya, and um, have a great time uh, watching uh, East Laul and yeah. Eurovision this year, maybe we see you, mm -hmm. maybe if not, you can <laughs> vote for us, <laughs> yes, and, and thank uh, you for watching, yeah, thank you.